Hello folks, welcome back. It's July 7th, thought I'd do a little update here in the apiary. Uh, one week ago we pulled our spring honey. It was running a week or so late. Uh, this was an interesting spring. Uh, it came in a little early, end of March and April. Really good flows. Uh, we built the bees up really strong. Typically, May is our biggest, heaviest flow. Not this year. We had 18 days of rain. It wasn't constant rain for those 18 days, but it was enough that it disrupted the nectar flows. So they brought in a lot in April. May, they were able to bring in just enough to keep the nest wet and to keep the hives moving forward, but not enough to go up into the honey supers. The uh, honey super right over top of the brood chamber was staying dry. So this year really wasn't that good of a flow. We, by the time we hit June, our flows are typically about done. This year, when the rain stopped, Temperature soared into the mid to upper 90s every day. What was blooming burned off. The clover just turned brown. There was nothing coming in in June until about the last week. The last week of June, we did have a little bit of butterfly weed, milkweed, and a little bit of sumac starting to come in. So a week ago, we went ahead and pulled all of our supers that were basically from April. Uh, like I said, there really was nothing that came in in May. So pretty typical for our area. Uh, production's down. But the quality is really nice. It's a really nice, fairly light honey. We had nothing from the locust, very little from the blackberry. Really happy with the quality, just not the quantity. You take what you can get. So, I get a lot of questions, especially from the newer beekeepers, on how I pull my honey. Well, I use bee escapes. I use the triangle bee escapes. The way you use these, as you figure out what honey supers you're going to pull, you put this in with the hole up, triangle down, below those, but above the brood chamber. And the bees will then, they kind of walk around here and they find this hole trying to get to the brood chamber. They go through the hole, they hit the screen, then they slowly work their way around through the maze, come out here, and they're down, but they can't figure out how to get their way back up. So you have to make sure there's no upper entrances whatsoever, there's no gaps, nowhere. You got to make sure that there's enough room under this for the bees that you're pushing down towards the brood chamber. So you might have to add an extra honey super or brood box just for the capacity of the bees that are up in the honey supers. You put these in a few days ahead of time. Typically it's one day per super. So on some of my hives I put them in on Tuesday night. Some of them I put them in on Wednesday night when I am pulling Saturday morning. That works out pretty good. You do not get all the bees out with these, but we'll get 90 to 95%. From there, I just pull the lids off, lift the high of the uh, honey supers up, use a leaf blower, blow out the excess. I stack them over on a trailer. Well, I actually use a bush hog, but a trailer works fine. Put a lid over them immediately, because this time of year they will rob them out before you get done. So you pull them off. Take them over, after they're blown off, set them down, put a lid or some sort of cover over them, go to the next one. I do have some video clips of putting these in, and then a few days later, pulling and blowing out the honey supers. I got a little video clip of walking around the bush hog with it stacked up as I'm going up there to, the, to the, get them processed. And I do have a video clip of the very first run of our new extractor. So I thought I would kind of piece all those together explain how I pull my honey and give you guys a, a little view of it. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions on what I do to how, how I pull my honey, if there's anything that you think you know, might be useful, leave them in the comments below. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time.
come back up later uh, tonight, pull out these triangles and put some of the wet supers back on. Down to the next one. Okay, here's our first pole headed up to extract. We're going to get these on up there. And, uh, out the new extractor. 